Hello and welcome back to the Human Manual. I am your host Ankit. How are all of you? So today we are going to start the chapter 2 of the Bhagavad Gita. Till now we had completed the chapter 1 of the Bhagavad Gita and we saw how Arjuna had become totally reluctant in fighting the war because of his compassion towards his own relatives and friends who were fighting in this war and because being a pure devotee of the Lord he naturally was very compassionate towards them and he had decided to renounce this world and renounce this world and go into meditation so he had completely lost his Kshatriya desire to fight in this war for the better good which he thought would be the best option but we will come to know what was Krishna's thinking, Krishna's uh, input in this work, Krishna's knowledge, what Krishna, how Krishna guided Arjuna in this war and he made him a true valiant Kshatriya as we know about Arjuna, how he took shelter of Krishna and how he took how Krishna guided him in fighting this war so before we start if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and also press the like button if you are liking these videos and press the notification bell for all the notifications so let us start Om Agyanti Milandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksasurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Excuse me. Chapter 2, text 1. So now Sanjaya is informing the trust what is happening now in the war and what is the condition of Arjuna and what is the scenario, what is he observing in the war and he is informing to Dhritarashtra. So text 1, chapter 2. Sanjay Vacha. Tam tatha kripaya vishtam asru purna kulek chanam visidantam midam vakyam uvacha madhusudana. The English translation of this text is Sanjaya said, Seeing Arjuna full of compassion, his mind depressed, his eyes full of tears, Madhusudana, Krishna, spoke the following words Tam tatha. Tam tatha kripaya avistam. Tam tatha means, tam means unto Arjuna. Tatha, thus. Kripaya wisdom. Kripaya is like kripa as in Hindi. Kripa means compassion. And avistam, overwhelmed. Asru purna akula. Asru means also treat tears. And purna akula, full of. So full of tears. Tam tatha kripaya vishtam asru purna kulekchanam. Kulekchanam means, ekchanam means eyes. So asru purna kulekchanam means his eyes was, uh, Arjuna's eyes was full of tears. Visi, visi dantam idam vakyam. Lamenting these words. Visi dantam means lamenting, idam means these, vakyam means words or vakya as in Hindi. Uvacha, Uvacha means said, Madhusudana. Madhusudana is also the name of Krishna, the killer of the demon Madhu. So, Sanjaya Uvacha, Tam Tatha Kripaya Vishtam Asru Purna Kulekchanam Visidantam Idam Vakyam Uvacha Madhusudana. So, Sanjaya said, Seeing Arjuna full of compassion, his mind depressed, his eyes full of tears, Madhusudana, Krishna spoke the following words. Now we will read the purport of this text. Material compassion, lamentation and tears are all signs of ignorance of the real self. Compassion for the eternal soul is self-realization. So what is the self-realization? What is actual absolute realization? Is the compassion for the eternal soul. The soul is always eternal. The soul cannot be slain or burned or cut or anything. The soul cannot be destroyed. 
it is eternal so compassion for the eternal soul is self realization material compassion lamentation and tears are all signs of ignorance of the real self that is not the actual knowledge of the real self the word madhusudana is significant in this verse lord krishna killed the demon madhu and now arjuna wanted krishna to kill the demon of his misunderstanding that had overtaken him him in the discharge of his duty so why uh, arjuna in this particular text refers to krishna as madhusudana madhu madhu was a demon which was killed by krishna so here arjuna desires uh, to krishna that he kills the demon of uh, not fighting this war that the desire to not fight this war that demon which he has uh, which, which which has overwhelmed him which has overtaken him for the discourse of his chatriya duty he desires that arjuna kills this particular demon and therefore he takes the name of krishna as madhusudana therefore in this verse no one uh, in this verse he uh, arjuna takes the name of krishna as madhusudan lord krishna killed the demon madhu and now arjuna wanted krishna to kill the demon of misunderstanding that had overtaken him, him in the discharge of his duty no one knows where compassion should be applied compassion for the dress of a drowning man is senseless a man fallen in the oceans of nisains cannot be saved simply by rescuing his outward dress the gross material body so as we know suppose a man or a person is drowning in the sea or water or in anywhere and if you want to save him what will you do will you will you just uh, take out his clothes will will you just will by just saving his clothes or his dress will you be able to save him no right because you need to know who what you actually should uh, save or what you should actually protect we need to know what we should protect we need to know on what things we should be compassionate if we become compa- compassionate over the dress the drowning person is wearing and we try to save the dress instead of the person then will that person be saved no absolutely not so similarly compassion for the dress of drowning man is senseless a man fallen in the ocean of ocean of nisains cannot be saved simply by rescuing his outward dress the gross material body so we all have this outward dress which is the gross material body anyways this material body is going to die we are all going to die and we are going to lose this material body so there is no uh sense in saving just the material body you can save the material body but you have you also have to look what you actually need to save you need to protect your soul that is very important the protection of soul means the anyways the soul cannot be destroyed but what is actual protection of soul the actual protection of soul is to make ourselves re- ourselves realize or to synchronize ourselves to the desire of the soul the soul's nature is to uh to serve to love and be loved the soul's nature is satchit ananda eternal full of knowledge and blissful so we need to synchronize ourselves to the nature of the soul that is called real protection protecting ourselves in a way to synchronize ourselves to the nature of the soul which is to serve uh lord krishna which is to serve lord vishnu and his devotees the nature of the soul is to serve to love and to get loved so that is called real protection one who does not know this and laments for the outward dress is called a sudra or one who laments unnecessarily so one who laments unnecessarily laments for temporary things or which is going to anyways which is going to be get destroyed and someone who laments for that is according to vedic scriptures should be called a sudra arjuna was a kshatriya a 
and this conduct was not expected from him lord krishna however can dissipate the lamentation of this igno of the ignorant man and for this purpose the bhagavad gita was sung by him so arjuna was a kshatriya and this conduct was not absolutely expected from him lord krishna however can dissipate the lamentation of this ignorant man and for this purpose the bhagavad gita was sung by him this chapter instructs us in the self realization by analy analytical study of the material body and the spirit soul as explained by the supreme authority lord sri krishna this realization is possible when one works without attachment to fruity results and is situated in the fixed conception of the real self so this realization is possible when one works without attachment to fruity results and is situated in the fixed conception of the real self so when we if we want to get this realization it is only possible when we work without attachment to fruity results we we do not have any attachment to the fruits of the work we do of the results and is also situated in the fixed conception of the real self only then this realization is possible so that was text one of the first of uh, the sorry second chapter of the bhagavad gita we will come to know what krishna says in the text two now krishna begins to say to arjuna krishna begins to speak in the text two of arjuna and how he guides arjuna we will come to know in our next text thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell for all the notifications thank you very much